God. God will now be mocked. God's honor, his name should be honored. The word of God should be used in a holy way. Your you God, don't really, the belief. first commandment says, love God with all their heart, all their soul, and all their strength. You don't love God. You love yourself and you love your sin. I don't love God because I don't believe in God. Yes. That's simple. That's right. I don't believe we know in that. God. That's why you're a mocker. You don't believe in God. And you mocking. love your sin I over your life. You love your sin. God will not be mocked. I love you but enough to tell you that Jesus went to the cross for your sin. Your own book. You can't and come up with anything Jesus said about the subject. Of God to these I can. I can. Jesus said, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believeth in him shall not curse but have a life in life. What would be the reason for me to come out here to appeal to you by the mercies of God that you would come because I know there's eternal destiny in your soul, sir. It's for your soul that I'm concerned about. That your soul is being eroded away by sin. That Jesus went to the cross for you, sir. I love you on my knees to tell you these things, oh, sir. Lord, I appeal to you by there. the mercies of God that you would oh, have God. eyes to see and ears to hear that you're living a lifestyle contrary to the will of God. I think Please you come are. out of that lifestyle, you're sir. Judging, you're I judge in the righteous judgment of God. I can't judge on my own. I can only judge by the oh, word of God and the word of truth. I can't make judgment on my own. I'm really a sinner saved by point, God. Guys. It's only his word. It's only his word that I preach to you <laughs> today. I preach you his word, right his holy We're scriptures. That God so loved the world that when he said to tell us that, it is finished. It means that our sins were paid in full. It's and I'm not going to mock God in that. Exactly You're mocking God today and your sins, sir. You love your sin center, over yourself. I love you enough to tell you these things. God said love people in truth and in love. You, love to those who you believe truth. God said those things. You have we no proof. Judge our own and I can prove it. Too. Huh? I can prove it. Judge, I can prove it. God loves you enough. Your vocabulary tells me your heart. By the abundance of your heart, your mouth speaks, sir. I speak truth. I can only speak of the things of what God's word says. I didn't make these things up. The problem with the church today is that people don't read the word of God. Romans 1 is clear you what happens. What you believe to I believe the word enough God. to tell you that and I stand here today. Why would I appeal to you? I appeal to your soul. Why would I do this? You, why would I stand here today? Do I gain anything today from this? I can't earn my way in the kingdom of heaven. I gain nothing from this. Apparently you think you're buying yourself a ticket no, to heaven. No, I can't. Luck. Only by the blood of Jesus Christ can I enter in the kingdom of heaven. I can't do nothing. I, I offer nothing but my life right to Christ. I died for myself, and I'm alive in Christ today. Granted, I'm a sinner, and I love, you know, I love what? what? What do I have to gain today? What is my gain here today to offer you hope in Jesus Christ? I gain nothing but to reveal something in His Holy Scriptures that your lifestyle is contrary to the will of God. And the God sent His Son to die on the cross for our sins. And we're not here to embrace people in sin. We're here to set them free. But I can't set them free from sin, only Jesus can. Ask Him into your heart. Ask Jesus to save you today. To come out of that lifestyle. A lifestyle that's contrary to the will of God. That your soul will be saved on the day of judgment. I appeal to you for the... I appeal to you today. I'm appealing to you today. Time is short, my friend. You don't know what happens tomorrow. I don't know much about the Pope, all I know is what he says. Romans 1, 26 and 27. It clearly says...